What's up my ninjas? Today we got jobber number three, adding users, scheduling, and timesheets. All right, let's dive right in. Go up here in the top right corner to your settings. Click there. Click down to manage team. And now here is your existing team. Go to the top right to add user. You can upload an image of your um, employee. All right, now that you have your new guy's personal information, we got a new guy, new guy at Gmail, just some random number information. Now down here is your presets. If you want him to be a limited worker, which basically he can view the schedule, mark work complete and track their times, that's pretty much it. Um, now it will give you a bunch of presets down here for what that is. Now if you want to change it and make it where he can view and record their own, uh, view job notes only, I mean whatever you want to change down here, all you got to do is click custom and then you can change whatever presets you want. But for now the new guy is just going to be on limited worker and go down here, save user. And now we have them successfully saved. All right, now that you got the new guy saved, remember if you ever fire or if he quits, you can deactivate user. But let's jump over to timesheets. And now this, you can switch to different days of the week, different months, whatever, and you can check. So he was clocked in from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's eight hours. If you need to edit that, you can edit his time to 7 p.m., which would be nine hours. You also can leave a note. So you can put forgot to clock out and then save. All right, now that the time sheet is right, what I like to do is every at the end of every week, I like to approve my time sheets. So right here, approve the time sheets. And now here it will have every worker that you have, their hours and everything. It will have a breakdown, days of week, and then if everything looks correct, you just approve the time. All right, approve time sheets. Now let's confirm the payroll. As you can see, the only one awaiting payment, 17 hours, we click here, make sure everything's done. If uh, for some reason your guys have to turn in expenses and receipts, you can put that here and then also reimburse them, but everything looks good. So we will mark as paid. Actually, this one I forgot to confirm, but I'll go back and do that. But we can click this as mark as paid. All right, and everybody's gonna be paid. Nine hours will be paid. And if, obviously I gotta go back and fix that, but yeah. That's everything from putting in a new employee, time sheets, and we approve the sheets, confirm payroll. That's a wrap. Wait to the next one, scheduling reoccurring jobs.